Hello, welcome to How to Draw Celtic Patterns. I'm your host, Jason Bellchamber, and this is the next segment in drawing a Celtic cross found on one of the Zed rods, the Pictish Zed rods on the Rodney Stone in Forbes, Scotland. All right, in this segment, take your pencil, and from here to here, draw a curved line, and draw another curved line here, right? This one goes here. And up. Right. Now, what I want you to do is focus on this portion here. Okay? What I'm going to do is have you mark basically the halfway portions on this line and this line because our spiral is going to come around here and go this way as well. So I'm not going to do the tail end of it. What I'm going to do is have this end and draw it in. And on this side, like that. Then we draw our S curve, like so. It's going to be a mirror image on this side. Start to draw your S like so, and on this side, see where it carves here. Now we're doing it in pencil, so we're going to make it a little more literal. Actually, I'll just use the eraser. I want to. I want to make a mirror image of this. Right. Okay. We're going to continue here. So, half, 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 half. You may want to rotate your drawing. I'm just going to get up. So, imagine this is spiraling into here. Almost like a spread out heart. I'm going to keep it curved, but we're going to do that when we do our pen line. That goes to there. This goes to here. Okay, so. Up and down. I'm going to fill in our S curve here and here. Great. So let's do this side. So. I'm not really liking this line that comes out of the center. That looks a lot better. There's about half and half. And the spiral's there, so here's half and half. I bump the camera. Okay. And this starts to spiral in to the halfway mark. And this spirals here. Okay. 
I'm gonna fix the curvature of that later with the pen. start completing this in the next segment. So get to this point here.